What's up? It's JV, and today we're checking out Treasure Planet. So this is highly requested after I watched Lilo and Stitch. I was asking you guys, what's a good uh, sci-fi space type um, animated 2D movie or like 3D, whatever? And you guys suggested Treasure Planet and Titan AE. So I'm going to be checking out Titan AE sometime soon as well. But Treasure Planet seems to be the one you guys are saying is like space based, I guess, because treasure and then planet. So. I'm guessing they're going to be flying around looking for treasure on different planets. So I'm very excited. I love sci-fi. As you can see, like the lightsabers and like all the stuff in the back. I really love sci-fi, sci Star Wars, Star Trek, Stargate. I actually did Stargate on this channel for a long time. I don't know if a lot of you guys know that, but uh, the new people don't know. I did Stargate and Buffy. So those are on the channel if you want to check. Um, but anyway, Treasure Planet. Let's check this out because I'm very excited to do jump into some sci-fi animated stuff. And I want to really, really take some time to thank my patrons. You guys are amazing, and you're the reason why I can do this channel because um, that's like 95% of the income comes from Patreon, and it's it's just amazing. Without Patreon, this channel wouldn't exist. So I really, really appreciate you guys, and some of you guys on the YouTube Join button as well. So thank you guys for joining on YouTube. But I highly recommend if you're not a patron, check it out. It's really cool. So can help support the show. So check it out. So subscribe and let's get started. Treasure Planet. Okay, we're getting some space already. Some stars, some a nebula looks like no clouds. Treasure Planet. I think it looks like a mixture of like pirate stuff and space. So pirate ships? Whoa, look at all the sails. That they were pursued by pirate. pirates. Oh man, this is really cool. Beard of all these pirates was the notorious Captain Nathaniel Flint. Fire! Avast ye matey! Fire the cannons! Nathaniel. Oh, it's 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 a, he's just like oh, he's reading a book. Overtaking its prey. James Pleiades Hawkins. <laughs> I thought you were asleep an hour ago. Whoa, are these how the books are? Whoa, sick! Oh my god, and it's like 3D and it comes out. Awesome! Wow, how freaking cool are those books? <laughs> Captain Nathaniel. Stowed with riches beyond imagination. Treasure planet. Oh. Captain Flint. Nathaniel Flint. He engaged warp drive. Treasure planet. You will, kid, one day. I know it's real. <laughs> real. Time jump. It's when he's an adult. Time jump. There are nights. Oh, <laughs> cool. Look at him reading the book. Oh, yeah, time jump. Got it. Got the head shaved 12 years later. Oh, he's got some kind of a hover hoverboard. Oh, I really like this, uh, the lore of this. It's like mixing pirates like and uh, futuristic space travel. Holy, this kid's amazing. He's got some major skills. Wow. And I like how they incorporate wind power into everything, to the ships and this thing. It's like has a sail on it, right? Like a solar sail what are you crazy oh my gosh yeah that looks like a solar power sail or it uses like solar <laughs> see they all have like those little panels on them got pulled over by the robot police Mr. Hawkins, I know. and then the weird alien food oh i love when they do this and it's a big bowl of zarellian jelly worms for the big boy awesome what's the matter Cat got your- ah! Oh, hey. They always draw, have aliens kind of like animals. Like he's like a dog. She's obviously like a frog. And he's eating out at dog bowls. <laughs> oh. Jim! Ooh, wrong turn. Okay, thanks for the lift, guys. Not so fast. Oh no, he's gonna go to jail? <laughs> Due to repeated violations of statute 15C, we have impounded uh. his vehicle. Any more slip-ups will result in a one-way ticket to juvenile hall. Okay, okay. He's not going to jail, but they took his his uh, hoverboard. Let's motor. Let's motor. <laughs> they kind of have personalities. He's like a problem child. Juvenile Hall. It's been hard enough keeping this place afloat by myself without you. Go Mom, it's no big deal. There was nobody around. Those cops just won't get off my... It's a big deal, kid. You can't... You, you're going to go to jail. Jim, I 
I just don't want to see you throw away your entire Jim. future. What future? Poor kid. And I guess no father, right? He's got no father. I'm at the end of my rope. Ever since his father left, well, Jim's just never recovered. He left. Father left. He didn't die. He is constantly in trouble. And when I talk to him, he's like a stranger to me. I don't know. Delbert. He built his first solar sail at eight. So he's like kind of a genius. But he's failing at school. Maybe he's not interested in school. Maybe he's interested in building stuff, like engineering. Stand there, right? <laughs> he's a hero because he wants to help immediately. Here's a gyros clicking. A pirate. A tortoise pirate. He's after me chest. But they'll have to pry it from old Billy Bones' cold, dead fingers before I... <laughs> oh, no. He's going to die. Oh, shoot. He's dying. Hide from your old dead fingers. Hear her, matey. The pirates. The pirates. It's, it's a cool choice to have the aliens resemble Earth animals, you know, for kids. Like, they can identify. Like, oh, a dog man, you know, like, it works. And it's like, what if on another, other planets, dogs evolved, you know, and then, or tortoises evolved. Happy little boy holding a new pet and begging me to let him keep it. <laughs> Oh, jeez. <laughs> exactly what she said. He's not a pet, though. Me chest, lad. Me chest. Here we come and soon. There's the code. Not that complicated. Boop, 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 boop. The cyborg. Beware. The cyborg. Cyborgs are like part organic and part robotic beings. Androids are fully robotic, but like humanoid androids. Cyborgs are like aliens or something with like cybernetic enhancements. Kind of like the Borg. The Borg are cyborgs, technically. This guy is getting their whole place destroyed. Is this the, 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 the captain? Nathaniel? It kind of looks like Nathaniel, the shadow. Her business, her, their, their house, everything is gone in an instant. Oh my god. What is this thing? It's a map? It's a compass or something? That leads to Treasure Planet. Come on. Those blackguard pirates have fled without a trace. I'm afraid the old Bimbo Inn has burned to the ground. Bimbo Inn is gone. This guy's loaded though. Look at him. <clears throat> Well, certainly a lot of trouble over that odd little sphere. It's a map or a compass. And they're good they have this astrophysicist guy. Even with my vast experience <gasps> and superior intellect, it would take me years to unlock its... <laughs> It'll take me years! And then it immediately finds it. Yeah, it's a map. This is us, the planet Montressor. Good. See, they got this guy. He's awesome. Astrophysicist. This is like the map. Showing them the way to Treasure Planet. It's Treasure Planet. Treasure Planet. No, that's Treasure Planet. Oh my God. We're heading out. It looks far away. He'd be able to experience. Woo. What <laughs> is the answer to all our problems? All those stories? That's all. That's going to be extremely dangerous. Now these pirates are after you. It'd be cool if he goes on an adventure with his mom and this guy. That's cool. They, they never take their parents with them on these adventures. That's why I'm going with you. Delbert! Yes. Oh, awesome. You're not serious. Oh, my life is Del for an opportunity like this. And here it Bert. is. Screaming. Go, Delbert. Go, Delbert. Go. <laughs> okay. <laughs> the cabbage patch. <laughs> the mom's not going to go. But this is my chance to make it up to you. I'm going to set things right. There are much worse remedies than a few character building months in space. A few months? I really, 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 really want to go. He doesn't have to take uh, Jim with him, but Jim does have the map. I'll make you proud. We'll begin preparations at once. We'll be off to the spaceport. That's that's really cool. He's going to finance the voyage. Whoa, the, that was a spaceport. Holy, I didn't expect that. Oh, that's awesome. It's like half a halo ring. That's really freaking cool. And the way they transitioned, we'll be off to the spaceport. And you think it's just the moon, but it's not. It's way more than a moon. Whoa. 
It's so cool. Why would they still have barrels and stuff? They're like space travelers. <laughs> it's such a cool mixture. I've never seen this before. Space, you have to be like so precise with everything. You know what they say? Familiarity breeds um, well, contempt. But in our case, <laughs> find the ship. I wonder if they'll develop some kind of father-son relationship. Oh, Jim. He seems like a, the comic relief. Whoa, RLS Legacy. He's the captain. They hired a captain and stuff. Sorry about that. I didn't know. Is that a language? <laughs> yeah. I'm fluent in flatula gym. Flatula gym. Flatula. So it's like a farting language. <laughs> okay, it looks like a rock alien. But I'm not the captain. He's not the captain. He looks like the captain. He's wearing a captain hat. Okay, cool. Dr. Doppler, I presume. Can you hear me? Yes, I can. Stop that banging. I'm Captain Amelia. Let Captain Amelia. May I introduce to you Jim Hawkins? Jim, you see, is the boy who found the treasure. Doctor, Men? please. Yeah, don't tell anyone. Oh, that guy's got four arms. If anyone finds out, they're going to go crazy over that thing. <laughs> Did you say? Foolishness. Yeah, you don't man. tell everyone this. Did you see the pirates trying to kill you earlier? to try and get the map. I'm surprised they haven't hunted them down by now. Hmm. They'll be on their tails. Mr. Hawkins, in the future, you will address me as captain or ma'am. Is that clear? She took it away? It's not very good. It's the only leverage they had. And doctor, again, zip your howling screamer. She's great, this captain lady. Young Hawkins will be working for our cook, Mr. Silver. He's working for the cook? That's how he's going to help? There's no finer officer in this... Or any galaxy. Oh, Whoa. Know Holy crap. Look at that arm. <laughs> and that leg. <gasps> cyborg. cyborg. He said, beware of the cyborgs. Dimbo. Uh, uh, get your hand. Yeah, that version. He said, beware of the cyborgs. He's a cyborg. Comes in handy as a chef. Probably in battle as well. They do come in mighty handy from time to time. <laughs> Holy, this thing has every attachment. Old family recipe. Oh. Ah. <laughs> In fact, that was part of the old family. <laughs> what? Just kidding, Doc. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Ew. What the heck? Oh my god, he's like a. a, a what is it? In Pokemon? A. a a mimic or something or jiggy or I forget. He looks like one of the Pokemon. Whoa, a morph. We've been together ever since. Look at the gears turning on his head. That's gonna come into play for sure. Mr. Hawkins will stay here. In your charge, Mr. Silver. <laughs> he doesn't want help. He doesn't seem like a bad guy, this cyborg. These perps, they're kinda like the ones back home on Montressor. You ever been there? Can't say as I have, Jimbo. Just before I left, I met this old guy who's kind of looking for a cyborg buddy of his. Is that so? Trying to get that info. Oh, yeah. Bones. Billy Bones. Bones? Bones? He's not giving anything away. I don't know. He's not. He didn't budge at all. He just looked back. We best be keeping a shy eye on this one. Any more? We wouldn't want him straying into things he shouldn't. I don't know. They're trying to make him look bad. I don't think he's bad. We'll see. You know, I make these predictions like and I'm like 90 percent wrong. You know, some when I'm right, some people are like, you've seen this before. <laughs> like, no, I just predict constantly. And then if, sometimes I get stuff right. It's fun, though. I like uh, trying to guess what happens based on my knowledge of like movies and TV shows. The launch. Avast ye matey. Pull the sails. Raise up. Why doesn't he help out here? Learn how to do this stuff. Oh, that powers the ship. The solar sails. Yeah. Yar. Oh, holy. Yeah. <laughs> they need to cover it, right? They're going to go out into space. Oh, artificial gravity. How are they going to breathe in space? Do they have some kind of force field to cover them up? Whoa, I love how the, the solar sails look and work. Awesome. He's out there. I guess they just can breathe in space somehow. Like maybe there's a force field around. That's fine. I just wish they would explain it for like two seconds. <laughs> Whoa, space whales, humpbacks. 
Whoa, they're huge. They're way bigger than the ship. Get his trim and his bunnies, his snoop and uh -oh. sails. I don't like this. You can keep that kind of flim flammery for your spaceport flutes, Silver. Uh oh. Hey, hello to Mr. Mob and Mrs. Bucket. <laughs> Yippee. All the gossip going on. Oh, doesn't know who to trust. Whoa! What the heck? Any last words? Handle Can yourself I... there. Oh. Mr. Screw. And like the cyborg cybernetics are like 3D animated, it looks like. Any further offenders will be confined to the brig for the remainder of the voyage. Am I clear, Mr. Screw? Whoa, what the heck? Transparently. Mr. Scoop. Damn, that eye looks like it could shoot. He's protecting him, though. He's protecting Jim. Where are you? Oh! Here we go, here we go. What's going on here? After all, my finagling, getting us hired as an upstanding crew. You want to blow the whole mutiny before it's time? Oh, mutiny. Oh, they're Just all against the him. Plan, you bug brain. Ah, uh, okay. So, plot's revealed. He is a bad guy, and he's got the he's the captain of the the other guys, the whole crew. And the cat lady and the rock man are like a separate, like they're not part of this crew at all. A little uglier. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty close. They're just kind of going along with it until they get to Treasure Island, and then they're gonna mutiny. What you did. Uh... Thanks. Didn't your pap ever teach you to pick your fights a bit more carefully? Dad left. Sorry, lad. Hey, no big deal. I'm doing just fine. Well, since the captain has put you in my charge, like it or not, I'll be pounding a few skills into that thick head of yours to keep you out of trouble. <laughs> Trying to teach him some skills or run him, like he said, he's going to make him so tired he won't have time to even think about the mutiny. Cutting potatoes. Is he going to bond with Jim and then he's going to feel bad? Misses his mom. He's teaching him skills, though. Like, these are good. Who's that? Was that his dad? Was that his dad? Oh. Telling stories. See, they are bonding. This is crazy. But he's the bad guy. See, he's starting to like the kid. Oh, my God. This is nuts. He's the bad guy. So he's going to have to choose. Uh, I was an electrician for a long time. And, like... I would apprentice under journeyman and like, you know, after days of months and years of working together, you develop like this bond like that. And then I apprenticed other people too. He left and didn't say goodbye. What the heck, man? And then he's like, come on with me. Holy, what a horrible dad. Like this, this, in this universe, space is like water. It seems like teaching him how to f steer ship and teaching how to tie knots and Really, really cool stuff. I got some plans. Gonna make people see me a little different. Oh, sometimes plans go astray. Not this time. Mm. Mm. Well, he's gonna tell his story now about how he got this. He lost his legs and his arm, his leg and arm. How'd that happen anyway? You give up a few things, chasing a dream. Was it worth it? I'm hoping it is, Jimbo. Oh, treasure planet. <sighs> He gave he, some kind of sacrifice where he he got into a fight or a battle and he lost like half of his body basically. Supernova! Oh shoot! Holy! Some star went supernova. They didn't see it coming. It takes like millions of years for a star to go supernova. Oh my God! Holy! Oh the sail, solar sails! Secure the sails! Yeah, he's helping. Oh shoot! Oh, oh, he saved him. This is going to be messed up because he's going to have to mutiny. And then, oh, my gosh. What are they doing? <gasps> Burst for impact. Oh, what happened? <gasps> a black hole. Oh, shoot. He created a black hole. What the heck? This is nuts. How are they going to escape this? This is impossible. Oh, lifeline. Oh no! <gasps> what the hell? No! He really went through! Holy crap, he killed that guy! Oh, they're all going in. 
Oh, no, no, no. Okay, yeah. The, the, the last one is going to come. He's protecting him. Look at that. Sales, all the power. I can't believe that guy. He killed that guy. This the 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 first officer in a black hole. Man, imagine dying in a black hole. We don't even know what would happen to you if you fell in a black hole. Actually, Doctor, your astronomical advice was most helpful. Does she know her first officer's gone? And they're gonna blame Jimbo for not securing the lifelines? Congratulate you, Mr. Silver. Oh, no. It seems your cabin boy did a bang up job with those lifelines. No, here we go. He's gonna get blamed. Oh, Mr. Arrow. Mr. Arrow. You killed him. Mr. Arrow has been lost. His lifeline was not secured. Liar! You can see the cut, the sever. I did. I checked them all. I swear. Sabotage. Oh. Mr. Arrow was a fine Damn. spacer. Finer than most of us would ever hope to be. He's starting to regret having bad feelings about this. Plans change, he said, remember? He's dead. He's actually dead. Wow. He thinks it's his fault. He's going to keep trying, keep tying knots. Why, half the crew would be spinning in that black abyss if not for... Look, don't you get it? I screwed up. I mean, for two seconds, I thought that maybe I could do something right. <sighs> Forget it. Got me. Forget it. He's trying really hard, you know, like he's finally getting something right. You got the makings of greatness in you. <sighs> Stick to it. No matter the squalls. Man, got me. Catching some of the light coming off you that day. Wow. That was really nice. <laughs> He doesn't want his crew to see. No, okay, that's enough. <laughs> I must be getting about my watch. They are like they're having like a father-son bond. This is awesome. And like the fact that he's planning a mutiny. Getting in too deep here, Morphe. Yeah. Next thing you know, they'll be saying I've gone soft. Oh shoot! He saw. Damn, the spider guy saw. He's going to tell the rest that he's going soft. Well, this it'll, I guess it'll make his decision easier, right? <laughs> hey. Where's Morph leading him? Morph's a good guy, though. He wouldn't be leading him somewhere bad. <laughs> Hide and seek. It seems like he's trapping him. Oh, he's going to put the lid on him during the mutiny, right? Guys, just a quick reminder, make sure to check out my Patreon page because that's where you can see Claws, Pirates of the Caribbean. That's out right now. Also, Shrek and Pirates of the Caribbean 2 is also out. So check out Patreon for the full unedited reaction to this movie and those other two movies that I mentioned. Check it out. Now back to the video. Don't move till we got the treasure in hand. We kill them all now. Disobey my orders again like that stunt you pulled with Mr. Arrow. Whoa. Oh, he knows. You have a soft spot for him. You think I'd risk it all for the sake Link. of some nose wiping little whelp? Oh, look at him. Shut he overheard gun. everything. I cozied up to that kid to keep him off our scent. <laughs> what? What? Oh, man. Oh, Treasure Planet. They're here. There's enough treasure. It's a whole planet of treasure. Guys. There's enough treasure for everyone. If everyone just like doesn't do this mutiny thing and just let's all just go and get treasure. <laughs> it's an entire planet. It can't fit all of it on the ship. Jimbo. Always hated to lose. Oh, a gun? Hmm. Me too. Ah, uh, got him. We move now. It's just one lady or two people you got a mutin mutiny against. It's not like a whole thing. Well, I read oh my gosh. Uh oh, mimic. Oh, he's going to mimic. Oh, cool. Holy, he's got some kind of like laser cannon leg. That's sick. If they do this, how are they going to get back? Oh no, mimic. Morph. Morph is a bad guy. Remember that. Nice astrophysicist. Did you oh. actually aim for that? You know, actually, I did. <laughs> I did. Got a couple bunch of them falling to their deaths. 
You're already there, though. It doesn't matter. Aren't you on Treasure Planet? Why would you need the map? Maybe there's a specific spot you need to go to, like X treasure map, you know? Oh! You can't shoot him. No way. Oh, no. Hold your fire. He's got the key. Sorry. Oh, jeez. They're hit. They're going down. Oh, my. How did they survive that? The map, if you please. Oh, phew. Oh no! More! Are you serious? It's back on the ship! They're searching a search party. Do you think they have it? Now, the question is, do you think he'll run into his biological father, who was trapped here, marooned here, and he can't leave? Maybe that's why he never came back. Just let go of me? <laughs> He's been trapped? How long has he been here? Solitude's fun! Don't get me wrong, for heaven's sakes, after a hundred years... You got a little nuts! A <laughs> hundred years? But wait, but then you gotta know about the treasure? And Captain Flint wanted to make sure nobody could ever get to his treasure, so I helped him. Oh, jeez. What is wrong with this guy? Look, if you're gonna come along, you're gonna have to stop talking. Huzzah! <laughs> That's impossible for this guy. Martin Short. <laughs> nice. He's got a hideout or a little house that he made. 100 years. You, for sure, you gotta make something. I find old-fashioned romance so touching, don't you? How about drinks for the happy couple? Uh, oil and stuff? No, uh, thank you, we don't drink, and, and uh, we're not a couple. Love connection? I didn't see any love connection. Uh, yeah, they are starting to like each other. If, uh, it's all right with the captain, a short word with you. Come to bargain for the map, doubtless. They don't even have the map. There's nothing to bargain. He doesn't have it either. Beware of the cyborg. It was him. I thought it was a, a whole crew of cyborgs. It's just one cyborg. Whatever you heard back there, at least the part concerning you, I didn't mean a word of it. If that bloodthirsty lot had thought I'd gone soft, they'd have got it us both. I don't trust them. We can both walk away from this. I can't. I don't know. I, I, it, it's, I'm going back and forth on this guy. All that talk of greatness light coming off my sails i'm gonna make sure that you never see one drabloon of my treasure either i get that map by dawn tomorrow morph yeah morph is confused as well morph chose i like they had to like he heard him because he was too powerful before this guy without his uh, with his leg intact he had the gun leg and his super arm Back door. Back door? Oh, yeah, he didn't say they had a back door. Whoa. Hey, Doc, Doc, I think the whole planet is a big machine. <laughs> he just jumps in. This is amazing. The whole thing was built by some ancient race of aliens. They built a planet. So what's the plan? <gasps> Shush. God, Ben, come on, man. Mm -hmm. The only thing that I'm wondering, how do we get there? I don't know about Ben. He has good intentions, but he's like, he's gone a little nuts over the hundred years of solitude. He needs his memory core back, that piece on the back. Hopefully he gets it back. Yes, yes. there it is. <gasps> get us all killed. Oh, this guy, out of all of them, the spider guy who hates him. It's like a spider and a crab. Oh, crap. Oh, crap. Oh, no. Holy, grab the flag. Again, this is how we killed the last guy. Mr. Arrow. Tell him yourself. Oh, yeah, he killed. He's going to like kill himself. Yeah. He's floating forever. Until you, well, until you run out of, you die of starvation or thirst. What a horrible death. Black hole is bad, but you would like die from being like crushed or something. But just floating and he could breathe, right? So he's just going to be spinning until he runs out of ox not oxygen, uh, till he dies of starvation oh, and hung and thirst. So that's like a couple days of that. Oh, my God. Horrifying. Fine work, Jimbo. Fine work indeed. Damn it. They got in. Yeah, hates to lose. Oh, he doesn't know how to do it. 
Yeah, he can't do it. Yeah, only Jim can do it. Why is that? Open it. He's gonna threaten his friends. Whoa. Where? Where? Oh! It guides you there. Tie him up and leave him with the others till we. What's the You want the map? Uh, he's gotta go too. Yeah. Good job, Jim. He's like evolving. He's becoming smarter and stuff. I like it. Would you want a reaction to Pirates of the Caribbean? That remind that reminded me. I was thinking about doing that. Pirates of the Caribbean 1, 2, and 3. I don't know if there's four, but um, let me know. Comment section. Let me know. Patreon. Let me know. Pirates of the Caribbean reaction. This isn't over yet. That's it. It's shut off. I'd suggest you get that gizmo going again. There's another one. Oh, they're here. That's the thing. You drop it in. It's the key. Another map? What is this? Holy crap! Portal. But that's halfway across the galaxy. Holy, you can jump anywhere. In the galaxy or the universe? Wow. So there is no treasure. He used this portal to roam the universe stealing treasure whoa look at all these different places oh buried in the centroid of the mechanism centroid of the mech the the, sh the planet and the treasure is buried in the center of this planet open the right door oh oh my gosh but the doorway itself is so powerful just to like get to anywhere but like you would always have to come back to this planet yeah yeah oh oh it has a booby trap the loot of a thousand worlds the loot of a thousand worlds oh so he kept looting places and bringing it back here nathaniel flint was that it's all seeming very familiar yeah yeah this isn't good something bad is gonna happen ben, come on get out of there yeah yeah grab a bunch and then leave captain flint in the flesh oh he's dead what happened to him he just died here he's he got trapped Flint didn't want anyone else to know but his memory core put it in his head your hands are very very cold out there yes right up until flint pulled my memory circuit so i could never tell anybody about his booby trap booby trap yeah the booby trap the trip wire that they walked through at the beginning the whole planet what a greedy jerk even after you're dead oh these guys are done for yeah they're dead mm -mm -mm. so his eye cannot shoot confirmed <laughs> is this oh. yours yes he's really useful now i like him he's got his confidence as well get back yeah get back i like you lad but i've come too far to let you stand between me and me treasure you have to do it jim Oh, shoot. Oh, it's lava down there. <laughs> Help him. Help him. Jimbo. Or the treasure. You got to choose. Reach for me now. Come on, reach. Let go of the ship. I can't. Oh. <laughs> it's retracting. You got to let go, man. You got to let go. Come on, redeem yourself. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yes. He did it. Redemption. Go, guys. Go. Oh, phew. You gotta turn around. What? What? There's a portal back there. You can get us out oh. of here. Listen to the boy. The boy's the captain now. I'm the captain now. All right. stand back, stand back. Oh, his hoverboard thing. He's gonna. That's full circle. He's gonna come back and he's gonna ride the hoverboard. Come on! Remember he built one when he when he was eight? This is your chance. Greatness! He sees it in him. He trained for this. He's like Anakin Skywalker. Look at him go. Holy. Come on. Pick somewhere else. Nothing too crazy. Spaceport! Yes! Oh yeah! Yeah! <laughs> High five. <laughs> cool. <laughs> Turned into flower uh fireworks. Oh. Kiss. 
Come on. Ah, uh, too soon. I'd be proud to recommend you to the Interstellar Academy. They could use a man like you. <laughs> get ready for a hug, big guy, because I gotta hug ya. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. He's gonna leave. You never quit, do you? I was uh, merely checking to make sure our last longboat was safe and secure. He's gonna go to jail. He's gonna get out. That should hold it. <laughs> I taught you too well. We just as soon avoid prison little Morphe here. He's he, he's a free spirit. Being in a cage, it would break his heart. Take care of Morph. You, you can both go. Long John Silver. What say you ship out with us, lads? You and me, Hawkins and Silver. Full of ourselves and no ties to anyone. No, his mom. He's got to go back. When I got on this boat, I would have taken you up on that offer in a second. I met this old cyborg, and he taught me that I could chart my own course. That's what I'm going to do. Look at you, glowing like a solar fire. Ay, ay, ay. You're something special, Jim. You're going to rattle the stars you are. He will, for sure. Damn. He's going to miss him. Freezing the cyborg, are you, Mike? Oh, hey, Morph. I'll see you around. I got a job for you. <gasps> Morph is going to stay with him. Will you do me that little favor? He's going to miss him. Damn. Too many tears at the end of these movies, okay? Too many. <laughs> yes, you got some treasure. <laughs> Stay out of trouble, old scalawag. Long John Silver. So he gave him some money to help with the inn, like with her business, her restaurant. Yeah, he's back. Hooray. Yeah, the new place. Look at it rebuilt. All that gold. That just little handful of gold did all that. Hey, he works there. <laughs> he's all cleaned up. What? Wow. They had kids? How long, uh, how far in the future is this? <laughs> yes, he graduated from the academy. Yeah. And they're together. They made half dog. Oh, no. So there's the girls are cats. The boys are dogs still. <laughs> and he cut his ponytail. <clears throat> hey, Long John Silver. All right. Another, another really, really good movie from, uh, yeah from disney <laughs> they can't go wrong or something what the heck that was so good it was such a great mixture of space which sci-fi which i absolutely love space and sci-fi every anything to do with that is right up my alley star wars star trek and they mixed in pirate stuff and it was like obviously it didn't really make sense but it was really cool to see that mixture of like old school pirates mixed with space because a lot of like space travel you you relate it to sea travel you know like they use a lot of the same terminologies and stuff so um it was really cool to see that combination with the pirates and everything and and the whole relationship with jim and um long john silver was interesting i did not expect that at all when i first saw the cyborg um uh, long john silver as the the cook I didn't expect this to be like a father son type of bond that they they adopted. But the way that they managed to tell that story was really cool. The montage with them working together. First, he was like, I'm going to get him so tired. He won't even worry about the mutiny then. But from working with him and trying to like make him tired, they were actually bonding. So and then the way that Jim would look at him kind of like to have this look on his face like thanks for teaching me type look and like i appreciate this and and um it just got to long john silver like he was he was like trying to maintain this hard exterior of being this rough pirate but um jim was like softening him up i guess um long john silver had hadn't gotten that bond with anybody before like he was just all about himself and he was about pirates and treasure and he even sacrificed like half of his body pretty much to the pursuit of treasure. So, um, yeah, that was really cool. And uh, 
his arm and the whole robotic cyborg thing was a cool addition and the way it, it changed and like did certain things and had a gun and a cannon and a knife and a sword like and a flamethrower so many cool things in this like i just love it and the addition of morph which was this like floating animal creature that could morph into anything which was really cool we had like a couple deaths that happened which was surprising to see um this is a disney movie i think it's pg it had to have been pg because of because of the the multiple characters that died but they're aliens so it's a different rule for aliens um the first one was the second in command who died in the black hole i thought somehow he would come back but no he was gone and then a lot of the pirates died in the lava like they fell on the planet and died in the lava so um, a little bit more mature theme to this movie which i i loved like it was great um the character development of jim and uh, joseph gordon did a great job voicing him um jim being this kind of misfit and troublemaker and he was headed for juvenile hall and stuff and i think a lot of like well, certain amount of teenage boys feel that way, like get into a lot of trouble. I certainly did um, in my younger years. I got into a lot of trouble. I was always like, um, yeah, I got into a lot of trouble. <laughs> I'll keep it there. But um, and you kind of feel lost. You know, you don't really have um, you don't know what you're going to do with your life. And the whole journey, you know, helped him figure that out. And he joined the uh then the navy space marines or whatever they were and he um kind of like star trek he joined like the the academy and then um yeah he's he's i think he's graduated now or he did i don't know i don't know how much time passed but that was cool to see that i like when they show like a couple months later or a year after like his mom's place was rebuilt john long john silver had like a handful of money that he tossed up gold and gems and stuff that he helped him out with and everything was rebuilt ben was working there um the the captain and the uh, astrophysicists got together and had kids and stuff it was cool to see like everything is is nice and um they i sometimes i feel like they leave these open right like just in case it goes really crazy in terms of like box office and like dvd sales um to 20 2002 so dvd vhs sales i don't know if they had dvds in 2002 but um if it were to go nuts this the next one could be like him trying to find his father or him bumping into his father um it could show him getting his own ship one day and um running into long john silver again but it was um it was kind of surprising a little how much of like they didn't he he okay so his father left him right they showed that montage of the father coming home and just walking by him and like not really caring about his son at all and then getting on a ship and leaving without even saying goodbye so they had like no relationship at all and um that's usually there's something there you know i thought his father would have like they had some kind of relationship and then he got lost or something but he was just like a bad dad so it's kind of justified that he didn't care about him. He wasn't like, I want to find my father or he wasn't referring to him at all. He was just like, yeah, he, he's, he's a jerk. And, um, that's different than from a lot of movies that I've seen. You know, there's always that longing to go find him, but he's just like, forget that guy. He wasn't good to me. So that was cool. Um, yeah, overall, I really enjoyed it. As you can tell, I can go on forever about this, but I loved the space stuff, I love the aliens being uh, different animals, you know, cats and dogs and turtles and all kinds of different things. And the, the incorporation of like Long John Silver and and like um, like known named pirates was cool. Uh, yeah, it was dope. So suggest more of these in the comment section on Patreon, especially those people get like priority obviously and then uh youtube comments and and uh instagram dms as well let me know what you want to see next that i'm gonna think thinking about doing like titan ae or um i don't know what other space stuff there is but other space movies that you can recommend um let me know uh in the comment section and if you want me to watch pirates of the caribbean tri the trilogy or 
or four, how, however many there are. I want to do those. I want to do those on the channel. So um, because of the pirate theme, I think some of you guys will like that. So let me know by hitting the like button, commenting on Patreon and on YouTube. So, yeah, just do that. And uh, I want to thank you guys once again, all my awesome patrons who, who let who make this show possible. So you guys, you guys are the MVP. So thank you guys so much. And if you haven't checked it out, check out my Patreon. You get early access and you get access to the full length reactions over there. All right, guys. Till next time. I'm out of here. Peace.